there. Welcome to BYJ's channel. In this video, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step method of drafting a pencil skirt with buttons on top. So let's get straight to it. So the first thing to do is mark a straight line at the top of your pattern paper or your fabric. This will serve as the baseline where all other measurements would start from, that is vertical measurements. Next up is to mark your hip line, which is your measurement from your waist to your hip. I'm marking this in two places so that I can extend the line horizontally. Next up, you mark your length, your skirt length. Here, we're making it of 20, which is my knee length. Alright, and then I'm going to make these lines visible before imputing my horizontal measurements here. So, I've connected the lines. I'm trying to label it. I totally forgot that I was not showing in this video. Apologies. So next up is to mark your waist circumference divided by 4. I'll be making use of 1.5 inches for my darts and then 1 inch for allowance. So I just marked those two things on the waistline. Then on my hip line, I'll be dividing my hip by 4 and subtracting 1 from it. Then I'll be adding 1 inch allowance as the sewing allowance. And then on the knee line, whatever I have on my hip line, I'll deduct 2 inches from it. Depending on how fitted you want it to be, you can make yours one and a half if you want a little bit of ease and then add one inch as your sewing allowance. Remember, we're assuming that this is the actual fabric. That is the reason for this allowance by the sides. Now, before connecting the lines, I'll go up by one inch on the hip line and then two inches below the hip line. This is where I'll connect my waist measurement and knee measurements respectively instead of just connecting it straight to the hip line so i'm going to do it like so connect the lower two inches down to the knee line and then make a straight line before moving it to the waist line so it's as easy as that to mark your darts you'll be dividing your boss palm by two that is your nipple to nipple measurements by two you'll be marking this on your waistline and you come down to about five inches and mark that same measurement okay then you try to connect the line this is me making sure that i have five inches right there in front then you connect the lines and then divide the measurements you kept for that you know i use one and a half inches so if i divide this by two i'll be marking those measurements on both sides of the dot of that line before connecting it to the line like so so if you took in just one inch as that allows you have to mark half inch on both sides and connect the line now next up is to come down by half inch at the center front of your skirt yes yeah, this is to create a balance when you put on your skirt so it fits properly on that waist or tummy area so after that it is time to cut now before we do that i forgot to extend the lines to include our hemming allowance i'll be using two inches here so when you roll two inches on the lower part repeat the exact measurements you had on the knee area and connect the line it's as simple as that now before you cut ensure that you fold in your allowance taken at the lower part so that everything seems the same when you open up and it's time to so it looks neat and it looks accurate so you cut out your front pattern and then you are done. So do not forget to label and then put this aside for your back pattern. So here I would start with my baseline again and then rule out 3 inches before starting every other measurement. This will accommodate my zip allowance as well. So from these 3 inches, I will measure out my waist circumference my darts measurement and then one inch for sewing allowance as I did in the front pattern. Next up is to take in my hip line and then mark my hip measurements on that spot. I'll be taking in my knee line as well as the two inches hemming allowance I took at the front area this time. I'll be making these lines visible by elongating these lines or connecting these lines to meet each other horizontally. After marking your waist circumference divided by 4, including your allowance and um, that allowance, you come down to your hip line and measure your hip divided by 4. Include the 1 inches for allowance, okay? Now, on the knee line, you deduct the same 2 inches from whatever you have on your hip line and include the 1 inch for 
sewing allowance i'll repeat this on my emina allowance as well now remember we deducted one from the front measurement i'm going to include this at the back pattern not at the side that is at the center back of this hip measurement okay now i'm connecting the lines together apologies i was not aware there was not featuring in this video okay so i'm just connecting the side lines together the same way i did there, the front part okay now coming back to this one inch i included at the center back it is to allow the bum sits well at the center back and of course to give the skirt a good fitting at the back side now I'll come down by seven inches like you saw me do and connect these lines like so ensure that you do not have sharp edges you can just use your curve ruler or you can do what i'm doing freehand okay so after doing this i'm going to take in my dart dividing your bust band that is nipple to nipple by two and marking it from the top area to six inches down and then divide your that measurement you took in by two mark it on both sides of the line and connect like i have done so it is time to infuse your zipper allowance i'm using one inch here you can go on to use one and a half depending on you so i'm going to take it all the way down you can see it still forms a curve because of the curve I've created at the center back now don't forget to label so that you are not confused on the center and then the sides before you cut out so after that remember to fold in your yes i'm just showing you what it will look like when you fold your dart on your actual fabric or when you're taking your dart rather okay so i'm just cutting out this lower this extra on my pattern paper i forgot to do that at the front part before folding in my allowance okay Holding your allowance do not forget before cutting out even if you're cutting it out on your fabric itself after this it is time to cut so you cut out and then do not forget the label and then we are done you can then transfer this to your fabric itself and make magic thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and leave comments in the comment section i would love to hear from you